Question. I'm uh, Cheryl Eikenson from CBS. Just trying to figure out, um, from what I've heard up here, there seems pretty unequivocal support for Israel. But I'm hearing on the news um, Americans who are over there blaming Israel and sometimes calls, maybe it's from the media, I'm not sure if it's from constituents, to tell Israel to show restraint. Do you know anybody who feels that way? And are you getting calls from constituents about that? I'm sure there are people who feel that way. And it's understandable if you're an American citizen in Sidon or you're an American citizen in Beirut and Israel is moving against it, you find yourself in harm's way. And I'm sure you're concerned about it. But uh, we had a brief conversation earlier. I, in my meeting with the president yesterday, I asked the question, how efficacious is the Israeli action? And uh, my staff has briefed me, uh, and, uh, and I got the same response down there. And I gave one example. This time yesterday morning, there was talk that an Israeli aircraft had been shot down because there was a major explosion in, uh, in Beirut, in a suburb of Beirut, that was a residential area. It turns out what was happening, to the best of my knowledge, is is that they were taking out one of these long-range rockets out of a residential neighborhood on a flatbed truck. The Israelis hit it. It blew up. The rocket itself blew up, and it caused this incredible explosion, leading people to believe there had been some time. These guys are cowards. Hezbollah are a bunch of cowards. These are guys that hide in hospital rooms. They take missiles. They actually have these missiles, apparently, in residential neighborhoods. They actually move these missiles and these weapons of destruction from Syria and other places. The last point I'll make. Think about, you know, I have to admit to you, I said, why are the Israelis going after the airport? I don't get that. Well, I figured out, finally, why. I was informed why. That that missile that was radar guided that went after the the Israeli ship off the shore of Beirut the radars were at the airport and they're worried about resupply of those missiles coming in they don't bring these missiles in in Syrian cargo planes they bring these missiles in over the road and or my guess is literally probably in the aisle of a uh, of, you know of a commercial 727 I don't know that for a fact, but that's what's happening. So the Israelis are put in an untenable position. My only criticism of the Israelis is they're not that great at public relations. If I were them, I would be pointing out why I went after the airport. I'd be pointing out what the reason was, assuming it didn't, it didn't compromise sources and methods. But I don't see how we could say, and it's a little bit like the same thing we had when we went in Afghanistan. We went in Afghanistan, remember we took out a wedding party by accident? Remember we took out with these very sophisticated missiles we had? We accidentally killed some citizens. Have ever a war more justified than us going into Afghanistan? I can't think of any worse since World War II more justified. Yet innocents got killed in us trying to protect America's interests. It is overwhelmingly regrettable. But what it should do, instead of generating outrage from the rest of the world, it should generate outrage from the rest of the world to go at the root cause of this thing and unite. Unite with us, unite with Israel, and not merely the condemnation, but setting up the circumstances where this doesn't grow again.